Hey y'all, welcome to Highway Homestead. Uh, today I'm gonna be building another goat shed for our buck and uh, Abigail right now. Uh, we're gonna end up getting a, a weather or something else to, to put with Twister here soon. But until we find one that we actually approve of, we're gonna put Abigail in there. Uh, she's already bred. We are 99% sure she's, she's bred. So to keep him company, we're gonna move him and put her with him. Uh, so today, and probably tomorrow I'm gonna to focus on getting a shed built and some electricity ran around our chicken run. Uh, it's quite large and they're not eating down the uh, a new brush the way that we thought they would. And so we're gonna put the Abigail and Twister in there. Well, the roosters are crowing, gonna rise and shine. Daylight's a burning, ain't got a lot of time. When the day is over and the work's all done, We'll sing and dance and have a little fun. All right, so the other evening I came up here and pre-sorted some of my old lumber. We actually got a lot of these uh, treated four by fours and two by fours from a privacy fence somebody was turned down. So there's a lot of uh, ground rot, uh, just some exposure, but it's still good, good enough for a goat shed. Then I have a bunch of one by slats that either came from our home renovation or we bought a couple of coal packs from Lowe's. You don't know what a coal pack is uh, definitely check it out it's typically not the best quality of lumber that Lowe's receives and so they'll put it together and make a uh, large discount on those I think we got a bunch of lumber really cheap so check that out just another resource that you can use on the homestead and I'll be using these one by slots as the siding instead of tin It just came a downpour. Uh, it's probably in between another downpour that we'll have around in about an hour, 30 minutes or so. We'll see. It's thundering currently, but I'm gonna do what I can to get this shed built. I'm using repurposed wood, I have to pull nails. That's part of it. Part of getting free wood is having to repurpose it. Pulling nails is a big part of that. I now have my post cut. It's gonna be five feet in the top in the front of the barn and then uh, it's going to be four and a half feet tall in the back so it's sloped and the water can run away it's going to be around four and a half feet uh, wide this is only intended to make or to hold two goats and it'll be uh, five feet deep and if you ever uh, build a shed or or build something like that and you have a fenced off area which we are we're putting this in a fenced off area I'm going to have to fit it through that gate, which is probably only three and a half, four feet wide. So I'm going to have to build as much of my shed here as I can and then carry it up to where I want it and uh, assemble it there. Just something to be aware of. You don't want to build a whole thing and then realize you can't get it to where you need to. Not that I've ever done that before. So. Uh, this is just a rough idea of what it's going to look like. It's not much. I've just got some of the frame made and got the sides. And then I put up uh, how wide it's going to be. I'll have to take that back apart so that I can uh, fit it through the gate like I was talking about. But it's going to be roughly five feet wide, which I know I think I might have said it differently earlier. But it's going to be five feet wide and a little over four feet deep. And I think that'll easily accommodate uh, two goats, maybe even three, but right now we're going to do two. And uh, I was going to make a permanent structure, but then nobody likes to muck stalls. So I figured once this gets all nice and, and disgusting, I'll just move the structure to a fresh piece of ground. So we had to uh, take a break yesterday uh, with the rain and with uh, it getting dark. So this afternoon, I'm going to try to work on the uh, goat shed a little more. Probably won't get it finished today. It should uh, should have only been an afternoon type job, but I've only got about an hour to work on it today. We're gonna go take the kids to a uh, water balloon fight. So they're, they're excited about that. We're gonna cut it short. Uh, so today, right now I'm gonna just 
focus on getting the siding cut for the sides and uh, try to cut some for the back side as well. Alright, so I have the main walls and assembled. I'm going to go get the back slats now. See how I have it open. I'm going to use that middle post as a support. Uh, this would be the front here. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I have to cut a couple of roof structures, uh, roof rafters, I guess. Uh, I'll get up here and measure the slope so I can cut that where it'll, where it'll sit flush there. Cut the tin, and then that'll be it. I'll have to uh, make them a uh, goat mineral feeder. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it at the end. Uh, it shows you how you can make a uh, mineral feeder for, uh, for goats. That way you can put different minerals in baking soda and kelp. I've seen some people use kelp and everything. So I've got the back sided now. I do not have the roof rafters cut yet or tin. Uh, that'll be tomorrow. It's getting dark. We've got to go weigh the goats the kids uh, but I wanted to point out Courtney had a great idea so I had to uh, improvise and put in two uncut boards here and I was my plan was just take a chainsaw and trim those up so like she said since this is movable uh, that'll be good for a handhold or at least we're gonna try it anyway and then I'll have to just put a board up front and we'll basically make a little uh, carrier to move this thing around it's a neat idea we'll see how it works I'll hopefully remember to mention it in the future when we move it. I now have a mostly 99% completed goat shed. All I have left to do, since this is recycled uh, tin, I'm going to go through with some silicone and fill in the uh, old screw holes, old nail holes, uh, anything that'll leak and make it watertight. Uh, but besides that, it is finished. Uh, you can see that I cut a uh, two by bare slope with the roof. And then uh, I also put a center rib there for support. Nothing crazy since it is just a goat shed. But now it'll be ready for the goats to come up here. I may reposition it so it's more, more level than it is, but uh, we'll see. If y'all have kept up or stayed with me this long, thank you for watching. It's been a multi-day process to build something that should have been a day. Uh, but life happens, we have kids, we have a homestead, we have other things, it rained a lot. But it is now finished, I hope y'all liked it, I hope it gave you guys some ideas. If you see anything to uh, improve on, please let me know. I'm always wanting to learn, definitely not a uh, expert at this, but uh, I'm learning every day, and I hope y'all are too. Thank y'all for watching.